Hi everyone, welcome, it's Roger Bleasy with Tampa Shave Company doing a review of today's wonderful product, the Sterling Soap Company Sandpiper. There you go, there's the lovely tin, and it is a whopping 5.8 ounces, very nice, you know, you get a good amount of soap when you buy these. And there's a look at the inside, if it looks like it's used, guess what? Eh, it is. Works very good. And I'm going to sample it for you today and show it, share it. It has a very woody scent to it. Very delightful. In fact, I was mistaken at first when I had, I thought that this was actually um, a sandalwood. But it's not a sandalwood. But it's very, very close to that kind of scent. So if you like sandalwood soap, You'll love this, and it's very good. They also make uh, matching colognes. In fact, a lot of, uh, or aftershave, a lot of the soaps that uh, Tampa Shave Company has, has a matching uh, aftershave cologne to use with, and it's wonderful. All right, well, let's give it a test. I'll see you downstairs for the soap. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I have my already wet down. Uh, shave brush. This is a uh, synthetic brush that I'm using today. And let's go ahead and give it a swirl, shall we? Now this is a tallow lanolin shea butter soap. One thing I've noticed about this soap is it does tend to take a little more water than others, okay? It's not going to look a lot like when you load it up. I mean, I'm just loading up a little bit here for a test. Uh, so you may want to bloom this soap before you, uh, you actually go for it. All right, let's get this out of the way, and let's try to soap it up. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water, just a bit. Let's see how that works, and let's soap it up, shall we? Yes, it's coming along pretty good here. Good slickness in the bowl, not a problem there. Actually, quite a good slickness in the bowl here. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Plenty for a test. There's the lather, looks beautiful. Nice and peaky, no problems there. Doesn't look like the foam is going to uh, dissipate anytime soon. All right, tell you what, I will see you up topside and we will do a test shave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll try something different this time. I have my uh, Joseph Allen and Sons straight razor here from Sheffield, England. Nice and sharp, of course. It's a vintage blade, of course. Little unusual honeware on it. But I'm going to go ahead and just give it just a single pass down the cheek just to test it out. Ah, uh, let's see here. Which side? I'm going for this side this time. Let's go for this side. Very nice slickness to it. Heck, let's test that out. Oh yeah, this is very slick. I would give this an eight or a nine on the slickness scale. There's a little finger test for you. You can see how well it covers. Very nice. All right. Let's go ahead, set that down. And let's give it an old shave with the straight razor, shall we? All right. Oh yeah, nice glide, easy to do. Very good, I like it. Works great for me. 
I have used this one before and it's been wonderful uh, performer for me. All right, let's clean this mess off, shall we? Very good. All right. So once again, that was Sterling Sandpiper Shape Soap. A wonderful, a very good value, I might add. By all means, please join, uh, please join, visit our uh, dear fr friend, Brian Abernathy, uh, the owner of TampaShaveCompany.com. Uh, by all means, hit him up if you like some of this. A very, very nice scent. I love it. And uh, by all means, come and visit me too. I am the Shave Lion, and you'll find me on YouTube. So please join me for a good shave and some good conversation. All right. You guys have a great day, and thanks for joining me.